Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Friday. Happy Friday to you, March 4th, 2011. And we're in Matthew chapter 8, so let's get right to it. And when he got in the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even winds and sea obey him? Well, they get in the boat, they're out on the water, and the storm comes, and Jesus is sleeping. And they're saying, Whoa, 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 come on, wake up, man, we're in trouble. And Jesus rebukes him. Now, first of all, why was Jesus asleep? Well, he'd been doing a lot of ministry and he was tired. Secondly, he wasn't worried about the storm. He knew who was in control of the storm, and that was his father. But the disciples are human like us, and when storms arise, we, we want help. We, we don't think we can make it through the storm. Now, they could have made it through the storm, and Jesus knew that, but they, they didn't. So they wake him up. And Jesus isn't completely insensitive. Now, you might have thought that based on what we talked about yesterday when he told the guy, don't even go to your dad's funeral, you come follow me. Well, he's not completely insensitive. He did tell that one guy that, but he knew his heart. Generally, when we're afraid, he's going to do something to comfort us. And in this particular case, he calms the storm. Now, I don't want us to overlook this. This is absolutely huge, and it proves he's God. Because man cannot control weather. All we can do is respond to weather. If we watch the weather channel or some program like that or listen to the radio, so we, we know what to do. If it's going to be rainy, we plan for that. We cancel the outdoor activities we have and we plan things indoors. If it's going to be uh, icy or cold, we plan for that. If it's going to be uh, snowing or uh, some real heavy weather phenomenon or those of you who live on the coast, a hurricane or something, we plan for that. Maybe we go, go away. But we submit to the weather. We obey the weather. Here, even the disciples noticed the weather obeyed him. If the weather obeyed Jesus, that proves he's God because God's the only one that control, can control the weather. So here he is proving he's God, which means he's Lord, which means he can ask us to do anything and we can't question. We're to, we're to do what the wind and the waves and the sea did here, which is obey him, and even the disciples noticed that. Now, from a personal standpoint, we all have storms in our lives. And we looked at that at the end of the Sermon on the Mount. And if, you're built, if your life is built on his word, you can withstand the storms. Now, sometimes he'll calm the storms in your life. And storms can be financial storms, emotional storms, relational storms, spiritual storms, physical storms. They, they could be all kinds of storms. Sometimes Jesus will calm the storm. And there's a song that says that, and I'm going to say the second half of that song. Other times, he'll calm you. He won't take the storm away, but he'll give you the peace to deal with the storm. The storm will eventually end, either in death or it'll, you'll adapt to it, or it may actually end, depending on what it is. And there will be peace, and the water will be like glass, like it was here, and everything will be calm. But the point is, do you trust Jesus? Is He God to you? And do you trust His Father to take care of you? Do you believe they love you and they, they want the best for you? You won't panic. He rebukes the disciples here for lack of faith. Well, let's hope he's not rebuking you or me for lack of faith. Let's show Jesus we have the faith that we believe in him. And if a storm is coming, we say thank you, God, for the storm. Casting Crowns has a great song. I'll praise you in the storm. Maybe I'll link to that one, too. I'm going to find both of those songs, maybe. No matter what's going on, trust God. It's all going to work out. Do what the wind and the sea and the waves did. Obey Him, and everything will be fine. Hey, we're going to see Jesus as Lord over uh, the demonic forces again next time. So come back tomorrow for the next edition of 
take five. <laughs>